Well, skyrocketing housing costs have many families in America living in a nightmare. The shortage of affordable housing is forcing them to choose between basic needs and a roof over their heads. CBN's Brody Carter looks at the roots of the problem and some solutions that could bring relief. This house behind me is listed for about $600,000. And while many high-end houses are being built at a steady pace, millions of Americans are struggling. Many low-income families spend more than half of their paycheck on rent, leaving them barely able to afford even the most basic housing. The rent is ridiculous. I don't know what's going on in the world. Experts blame a number of reasons behind this and expect it to get worse. We are in a housing crisis. There's, there's hundreds of thousands of people in this country who have no home at all. A record 653,000 Americans experience homelessness any given night, a stark reminder of people living on the margins, according to Will Fish with the Center on Budget and Policy Priorities. There's many more millions who are paying very high shares of their income for rent and are often um, you know, just one step back away from, from being evicted um, and losing their homes. Eight years ago, I could have been paying for one bedroom apartment, like $900. Now it's double. $1,500. For others like Sharice Ryan, a student juggling school and work on the side, the burden of rising rent is a bit overwhelming. It's affecting me because I'm in school right now and I'm not working. So, you know, trying to be in school and do a little bit of Ubering to pay the bills. You know, many cities becoming luxury cities where the average cost of housing is a million dollars or more. The Cato Institute's Vanessa Brown Calder explains that's also caused rent prices to rise much faster than people's incomes. For example, some studies show since the year 2000, rent is up by more than 50 percent, while average incomes have risen by only a third of that over the same time frame. She also notes construction costs and zoning restrictions add to the affordable housing puzzle. What's really happening here is that we are just not able to build enough housing even with higher construction levels, we're not able to build enough housing to make up for the big hole that we're already in. That hole she references is a shortage of nearly 20 million homes, widening the gap between available homes and potential buyers. I do think that the private market is the solution to housing affordability issues. And of course, the private market can only be unleashed in order to solve those problems. If the government gets out of the way and removes some of this unnecessary red tape and restrictive regulation. So I do think that, you know, we need policymakers leading the charge to reform government regulations. Certain states are taking a lead, making significant changes in reforming housing policies. Legislators in both red and blue states have moved to modernize zoning laws, streamline the residential planning process, and updated standards for home building and design. Here in Virginia Beach, a move toward workforce housing. This land here is designated by the city to help blue-collar families, including police officers and firefighters, afford a place to live in this competitive market. And despite any criticism, this approach exceeds city zoning regulations and frees up land once zoned for farming. Progress is being made. There are also private efforts like Kingdom Builder Group in Phoenix, stepping up in faith to help. We want them to see we're different. Um, some people know by the name that we're different. We're trying to build the kingdom through providing housing and really just showing people the love of Christ in all that we do, how we treat our customers, how we treat our subcontractor partners. Partnering with Boxable, a group designing prefabricated homes, the group focuses on affordable construction for low-income families and veterans. They also collaborate with churches and veteran organizations to create sustainable projects that support the city's spiritual and social needs. The current zoning ordinances in all municipalities across the country are kind of antiquated. You know, I could do 20 units in six months if the government would do the zoning and, you know, get out of the way. We could do, you know, a lot more units. As housing costs likely continue to rise, so will the need for affordable working class housing. The hope is reforms will expand beyond the state level and private market to bring Americans in need closer to the dream of stable, affordable housing. Brody Carter, CBN News. Well, it's always been the American dream to own your own home, uh, and, and it seems like that dream is very far away. You can look at zoning laws, but I'm not hopeful that there'll be any quick fix to that because underlying zoning laws are the basic uh, city expenses for trash and water 
and schooling that if you if you don't have provisions for that uh, it doesn't it's not in their interest to change the law in order to increase density so uh, there are a lot of factors at work here let me break break it down very simply as to why there's a housing crisis in america today number one it's inflation the cost of basic materials for building materials like wood and cement has skyrocketed along with a rise in interest rates from the Federal Reserve in order to tamp down that very inf inflation. So if you're in the construction business and you've got to get a construction loan, your cost of construction plus your cost of borrowing has gone way up and the numbers just don't work like they used to. And so it's, it's a bigger risk to get out into that market because now you're sell, trying to sell a home at 600000 to a million dollars, and who can afford that? It's not going to solve the first time home buyer problem. The second issue, and this is a very political issue, under the Biden administration, nine million people have come into the United States that aren't documented. And in that, you're going to have a housing demand. So it's basic economics. The price of building new housing is too high, so the supply is limited. The demand has skyrocketed with 9 million new people coming in, all needing a roof over their heads. And so something's got to give, and what's giving is the price has skyrocketed. And that affects you and me. It's a political issue. It's an a inflation issue. Uh, and the good news is we all get a chance to vote this coming